yeah vibhuti sharma please uh, tell us yes, about your uh, tell us about your journey um, towards success in federal bank so i think it was because i joined your classes that i was able to crack the interview to be very very honest otherwise i was very confused like what to do and where to start from so mm-hmm. i think watching your videos and um, i mean i gave mock test that uh, i think because of those and also because i used to watch your videos and while watching those when you used to ask the question to the candidate i used to pause the video and then uh, like act as if i am the candidate and i am answering the question so that's how i practiced acha acha you practiced using the videos uh, that yes. good good then uh, i know i have told about you already to them you were a girl who joined one day or two days before the interview and um, you were with me for nearly 3 hours one day right from evening 5 to 7 and then 8:30 to 9:30 yes sir and i saw of course, of course the one reason for your success is your communication ability not <laughs> of course besides my telling you about various things that is different the major cause for success is your language ability and your confidence and above all you had a focus you wanted to succeed so that was yeah. what has really helped you please tell us about yourself as you told in the interview uh, sir actually i uh, first of all uh, like the whole introduction part yeah really uh, as the interview went you continued telling this was the question asked i told like this then the question went on like this like that if you can remember in okay. cogent manner nice i try so first uh, first Now of you all you tell they... first of all about you, yourself tell about yourself uh, okay, what so my... did they ask you for introduction yes or no yes sir they did up uh, then tell uh, so my name is vibhuti sharma how did you, how did you enter the room when you enter uh, the room Uh, course, actually don't the tell first me by thing... wa- don't tell me by walking i entered the room <laughs> yes, tell, tell how were you smiling at them what was the dress you were wearing how confident you were was was there any fear in your mind when you went yes sir definitely so first they start with the documentation process and that is very important you need to carry all your documents that are original so if you're not carrying them then you won't then they won't let you sit in the in the interview so that is the first stage that you need to clear because mm-hmm. i was having i think uh, i wasn't having the original mark sheets of uh, post graduation like semesters so uh, i somehow managed to tell them that the university hasn't re- like published them at, uh, right now but when they publish then i upload them so that was like a little tough for me to uh, mm-hmm. you know uh, convince them but convince somehow them. i like managed Manage. them yeah why why did you not why did you not take the original with you sir at the, the time they were distributing the uh, mark like the original mark list i was actually having my midterms and then i thought that after that i'll take them but then the interview came and i was so busy with all these things and even i uh, like uh, yeah so i think that is exactly why i didn't uh, i didn't i didn't know that they were very serious regarding the documentation process i thought that the mark list that they uploaded there i would print them out and uh, they would like accept those because they those were also the original one but they were like wanting the original one yeah so, yeah that it they accepted because it was the final post graduation if yes, it had sir, been were, for some other class well, they would not have accepted yeah. and also they were asking for the third semester result now what happened was that chandigarh university they had published their results of the third semester and our university hadn't because our college is affiliated to a pto so it hasn't like published the results of the third semester so that i told them and then they like allowed me to sit in the interview and yeah. uh, after that we need to wait and then they when they called me they told me to sit inside a room in a cabin for some time mm. Mm-hmm. now i don't know whether they were observing me or what but i was told to i was like told to sit there and then i was like sitting there for about 15 to 20 minutes i think and mm-hmm. after that they called me and uh, they made me sit outside the interview room mm-hmm. and then they told me like when the bell rings you go inside and like give your interview and i was like okay mm-hmm. and i was yes i was very nervous to be honest i won't lie but mm. uh, somehow i was like i i knew this that i had to like act as if i'm not nervous and i had to cover that up because otherwise you, i will ruin the interview were, were you wearing um, coat suit and all that uh, sir we are supposed to wear our uh, college uniforms oh acha uniform correct yes that is with blazer and all 
yes with the blazer tie and uh, polished shoes and like that is very basic uh, you need to like wear clean iron clothes and uh, okay. all that yeah. i think everyone has been knowing yeah. because uh, i think they judge you like what i have experienced that they judge you on your personality yes definitely communication skills uh, convincing power as well and like how patient you are Mm. that is what i felt when i went to the interview because they to be honest they yes sir, they didn't ask me technical questions like only two technical questions that i had already prepared with you along with you so i was able to like answer the, those and they asked me a situation like situation based questions a lot mm. half tell, of them i don't even tell, remember tell about so one question your, yes whatever you remember yeah. one question was that it was very tricky it was uh, what do you think about the slum areas in india and i was actually thinking that what exactly is it that they want to hear uh, was it in the economic uh, like because of the economic perspective or then what then i i don't know i started telling them something that india is a very diverse country and uh, like it's the fifth largest economy there are different different types of people their incomes vary and all that then they cut me in the middle and then they told me like in the empathetic uh, perspective and then i changed my answer <laughs> and yeah. that's how i told them that yeah, i feel like very sad and i wish that i can help them you know here actually, actually, yes. actually a type of answer like this like yeah um, the slums people are living with less amenities or comforts yes, and sir. the government is aiming at providing power and uh, water and other facilities yes so we should try to do our best to help them yes sir um, yes sir that that's some like, sort yeah, of a thing can be yes, told yes i think because they literally cut me in the middle and then they told me in the empathetic uh, point of view that's then i had to like change my answer and be a little more uh, more empathetic yeah. with, uh, like that answer. is you must tell show them or tell them as if you are uh, having lot of empathy towards poor yes. people and you want yes. to help them and then they asked me uh, there was another question that uh, will you be uh, will you manage to get uh, 10 accounts in one hour and then i then i said yes then they said how then i said that i would tap into my referrals like the first instinct would be that only to uh, like uh, call my references and my friends and then provide them with uh, good uh, exceptional services and then they because because of that they would refer to like their other acquaintances further and that's how like more and more customers are going to like and i the, told them for you i think it was 10 people in one hour na yes sir so that was the first time they have asked like this normally they used to ask 15 accounts in uh, one week or 15 days like that first time yes, i sir. i have heard a question they want 10 accounts in one hour one hour yes sir that is really too much yeah yes, continue sir. that was the question and there some basic questions like like the most frequently asked questions in the interview like where do you see yourself in five years then i told them that uh, the same answer like after a uh, five years i see myself as no they asked me that what would be your best moment after five years then i told them that when i would get promoted as a manager in the federal bank that would be my uh, like the best moment of my life after 5 years and then because they knew that uh, these are the question that everyone prepared then they asked me like what is the date today then i told them it's 20 28th of february uh, 2024 they asked me what is the time now i was confused that whether should i check my watch and then tell them the time but then i thought that, that like those are not good manners to check your watch like when you sitting in a social setting so i thought that i should like i remember it when i when i went to the interview it was past 11:30 and i told them that i don't remember the exact time but it's past 11:30 and then they told me that after like 65 years from now where do you see yourself and then i was like uh, i i told them something like i want to see myself as like i would have made an impact on the people surrounding me like my uh, subordinates and <coughs> sorry and my family members and i would would want to be recognized for the work that i've done in the organization that i'm working for so that was the answer that i told them <laughs> good good excellent good <coughs> yes, so take and... water take water first take water <laughs> no sir what think... drink water and come drink water yes, and uh, i think these are the main questions that i remember that, uh, that were a little tricky otherwise your basic like most frequently asked questions and they asked me about my marks like uh, in class 10 i was having like really good marks 91 percentage 
then mm. it dropped to 82 percentage in plus two and then uh, it again went up in my graduation like 24 and in mm. MBA it dropped a lot around uh, 74 uh, like something like that then they asked me about the inconsistent uh, percentage then I told them that uh, mostly they asked about that why did your percentage like decrease in MBA so I told them that uh, actually I was uh, I was then I told them that I was busy with uh, extracurricular activities and at the same time, uh, I also had like switch subjects. Then that made it a little difficult for me to cope up with them. So, yeah, what were the extracurricular them. activities? Did they not ask you? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. I told them uh, that uh, I had coordinated different different events, and uh, I had also anchored like several events in the college. So, yeah, I told them that. Good, good. And. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, when I was introducing myself, then I told them, like, I added the strengths part in my introduction only. So I told them that I described myself as a very responsible, hardworking and sincere person. Then they asked counter question me that how do you like, why do you uh, describe yourself uh, resp uh, like responsible? Then I told them that I was elected as the last representative during my graduation years and for like two consecutive years. So that's very how good. and. I also like uh, so <laughs> yes, and then uh, I also told them about the events and uh, like whatever I had done in my college, all the extracurricular activities. I told them that I took the initiative to uh, like help my teammates and something related to that. I told them. So yeah, they, actually, in <laughs> while for those people who have not be, had the opportunity of leading it and all, you can at least feel happy in telling them that you took part in many of the activities. And helped the coordinators for getting, the, making them successful. Something like that candidates can say. Because not everybody can be a leader. Some of us have to be followers. So while being a follower also, you are a sincere follower. And a follower who, who helps the leader. And see that the group's objectives are achieved. Are you putting forth your efforts towards that? Tell them yes. So that is how you have to give credit for you. See, unfortunately, we parents bring up children with a way always to tell, not to boast about themselves. But in the interview, they want only candidates who are feeling good about themselves. Whether it is right or wrong, that's what they expect. So when that be the case, we should try to pose ourselves as being too, I mean, fully happy about ourselves about about our stance and our contribution to an extent possible we should try to project it to them good next yeah next yes. any other ex points you would like to add now candidates if you have some questions you can ask her we sir, move the yeah do we need to take any files into the panel sir Interview if you panel. have a file if you have a file on your hand you will have something on your hand so that you won't be shaking your hand here and there. Understand? So, yes, sir. it is better to have a folder. I don't know what um, Vibhuti Sharma did. You were having a folder yes, in sir. your hand? Or, yeah. Yes, sir. Because of the documentation, you have to carry the folder. And even inside, I think it would be like, as sir told, it would be very helpful for you to not fidget around here and there. Because that would show that you're very, like, you're not confident and you're nervous. Yeah. So you keep it on your lap and hold it firmly. Smile at them. Always a smile will bring you success. I know it is difficult to smile, but you have to smile. And it is not necessary. You have to answer all the 100% questions. Even if you answer 70% questions confidently, that is sufficient. Now, any other questions others would like to ask? Sir, uh, for result, how many hours it will take, sir? About in in colleges, uh, normally in some colleges they declare it by the evening, same day evening. But in some colleges where it is a group effort, maybe they want to see as a whole next day also. In her case, it took such a lot of lot, so many days. Vibhuti Sharma, is it not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because of the documentation process only, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, because uh, our like uh, college had uh, university it hadn't uh, published the results, so they were like 
constantly asking about the result and then like i think they even contacted the our college and my placement coordinator told me that uh, they were asking for a bona fide that our college is affiliated to ptu so only after that i think they published the, my result so oh, for that is the reason why your result was delayed yes Other so very delayed if you have given the uh, uh, papers earlier online second day it would have come Rajul got it on the second day itself. Yes, sir. On that day only, I would have like my result would have been declared on that day only. Yeah, But they were asking of... for the college uh, to yeah. upload, like to give them the bona fide. Achha, and achha. I couldn't do anything about it. I was waiting for the college to like yeah. provide Mohit, them with the document. Mohit, how long it took for you? Sir, one day only. One day only. If the interview is on uh, uh, say ninth, it will be a uh, result will be on tenth. And yes, sir. Saturday, Sunday comes in between, so that yes, they, they are very fast. They they are not trying to rank and all that. They go by your performance in the interview. That's all. Whether you will be able to face the group, multitasking, working in different places, working in a place where you don't know the language, this type of situations, they ask you and you must answer them. With a smile and confidence. Any other questions from Sanjay? Sanjay is agriculture candidate. Any question? Viswa. Uh, actually, she said. Yeah. Uh, actually, Vibhuti Sharma has said they have asked me technical questions. So, was it related to federal bank or was it related to subjects? No, no, sir. Banking. Uh, it... That is finance. They were all related to finance and banking. banking i think not much only finance what was the questions they asked you in your technical so only two questions what is banking and what are the uh, sources of income for the bank apart from their basic lending activities this is my favorite question most yes, of the interview most of the interviews i would have told banking is accepting deposits from public and making advances the next question will be what are the other ancillary services banks do other uh, um, para banking services then you can tell they do bank assurance that is collecting of the insurance policies then they also collect mutual fund products they are also advising people for wealth management advisory services for which they get a commission the sources of income for the bank is number one basic thing is interest on loans then the commission on various services rendered by the banks and also rent on lockers besides banks invest in government securities so they will get interest on that banks also invest in shares so they may get dividends from that they invest in debentures they will get interest on that so these are the normal sources of income available for the bank this is a favorite question for whether you are a commerce graduate or not they will ask you this question yeah good any other points candidates you would like to ask our um sir whether they will ask about our uh, engineer degree any questions like that sir not much not much only okay. thing they ask is that for the mtech people they will embarrass them why are you coming here after mtech to us and uh, there you should say i have already told you in many interviews so you must tell that confidently and come out of it and uh, very far related they won't ask exactly civil engineering question they can ask you who is the surface transport minister then uh, also who is the uh, pwd minister in your state what are the projects that are taking place in your state some <coughs> such questions they will ask for agriculture they can ask about uh, your state agriculture agriculture minister what are the crops grown in your area and um, what are the efforts taken by the government for encouraging agriculture is from the state government from the central government and all that what is the latest news if they ask if you must be able to tell the gas price has been reduced by 100 rupees yesterday's news it has been reduced by 100 rupees of course they have reduced it for election case maybe it may be the case but then that is a news 
so you must be able to tell like that not very detailed questions on in uh, your uh, what is that um, Domain. agriculture agriculture okay. questions will come under for agriculture uh, po or when you come for pan india recruitment in that interview at least they will ask questions relating to your subject i have showed you so many questions on agriculture na, that i was having yeah yeah, yeah. Any other uh, doubts, questions from others? Yes, yes. Is it depositing in bank is an asset or a liability for a bank? So, deposit for a bank is a liability. Liability. Deposits for bank is a liability. Loans for a bank is an asset. But from the angle of customer, you see, in the case of deposit accounts, banker is a debtor. Customer is a creditor because he is giving money to the bank. Same way, the opposite is in the case of advances. Banker is a creditor. Customer is a debtor. Customer is a debtor. He owes money to the bank. And in the case of locker services, banker is a lessor. L-E-S-S-O-R. And customer is lessee. That is lessor, lessee. This relationship, you must be aware. If you have a house, you give it on rent. You give it on lease. So you are a lessor. The person who is going to take the house is known as, on rent is known as lessee. And in the case of uh, safe custody, the safe custody means some rich people, they prepare their uh, will and all that. They keep it in a closed cover and they will give that closed cover to the banker. The banker is a bailey. Customer is a bailor. Customer is a bailor. And in the case of collection of checks, nowadays nobody, not much of collection of checks. So collection of checks, in the case of collection of checks, Banker is an agent. Customer is the principal. P R I N C I P A L. Principal. Because bank is doing the service on behalf of the customer. This is what it is. Sir? But, yeah. Uh, bank is also lending money based on people's uh, deposit now, sir. Then how it will be a yeah, liability for a bank? No, no, no. Bank is huh. giving monies not only from the deposit. They also borrow from the market. They are also having uh, capital given by the shareholders. So do not segregate this with that. The thing is, for a person who is money giving money to you, uh, it is your liability. That is the bank's liability. Okay, sir. That is what it is. Good. And the famous question for famous question for finance students is that why capital is shown under liability? It is because business is treated as a separate entity. Business is a separate entity and this business owes money to the shareholders. So that is why it is a liability for the company or the bank. Okay. And another question for finance people is market capitalization. What is market capitalization? That is number of shares issued in a company multiplied by the that day's share market price. Today's market price, I didn't see. Anybody saw today's share market price for our... For today, there today is market no is absent. Uh, market Saturday. Is Saturday, leave. Correct. Leave. Yeah, good, good. Very good. Thank you. Now, thank you, Vibhuti Sharma. Thank you, Mogi no Sharma. Problem, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Best wishes. God bless you all. Sir, I thank would you. like to like thank you for being a Sherpa for us, Everest, like a federal, sir, for us, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. It would thank not you. be possible without you. Yes, sir, definitely. Thank you. Best wishes. Thank you. All the best. Thank you so much, sir. Bye-bye. Bye, you, sir. Yeah. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. You can go. I will be with them for next two, three more minutes. So this is, uh, I really thank these two 
candidates for coming over here and sharing their experience. Now, like this, you people also must come and share after you are getting success. That is possible provided you go through the Federal Bank website also and the questions that are appearing in that A 2023 interview questions, which I have shared with you. Yeah. I think now the number of pages has increased to 280. Oh, Baba. Good. <laughs> it is going on increasing. Hmm. See, this question and all, nobody can predict. What have you heard about Federal Bank? You may think why this question is relevant. See, the moment you have decided you are going to appear for Federal Bank interview, are you evincing interest in knowing more about it? That is why this question. So whatever newspapers you read, if there is any reference about Federal Bank, you must go through that. If there is an advertisement of Federal Bank, you should go through that. And you should try to use that information while talking to the interviewers. Okay. Yeah, good. Items available in the balance sheet of a bank and all. Uh, first is capital. Under liability side, you have capital followed by deposits and other so borrowers. They ask for even engineering graduates. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, they ask even for engineering candidates. Even for engineering candidates. See, gone are the days when they were... See, in my days and all, no banking question, nothing. They used to ask, what is your name? What is your father's name? From which place are you coming? Which degree you studied? Why have you scored less marks, more marks? Like that. So, uh, do you want to serve in bank? Are you confident? Some basic level questions only they will ask. For me, in one bank, what is that bank? I think I appeared for uh, one bank officer interview when I was a clerk in a bank, in Indian bank. So, uh, they used to ask questions like, so what are your hobbies? So, I told some watching movies and all. Then they asked, what is the movie you saw last? I forgot the name. Then they wanted me to tell the story finished. I could not answer that. I am talking about 1970, 72 like that. In those days, that was the level of questions. So now, because there was no system of um, internet or even magazines were not this much popular. Magazine, then only competition success review had started coming. In those days, 1970s. So there was, and newspaper reading, of course, it was there. So only basic questions they will ask. Now, they want you to know as an economist, as a basic citizen, should you not know what is the income tax rate? Should you not know what is the GST rate? Should you not know what is the government doing for its planning? So that is why they expect you to know. Could you follow? Just because you are an engineer, you cannot say, I don't know about income tax rate. I do not know about what is GST. You must know that as okay. a citizen. As a citizen. That is why these questions are asked. Anyhow, best wishes. Thank you so much. We will meet again tomorrow at 8.30. Yes, please. Sir, uh, after uh, getting an interview date, you will conduct a mock interview for us. Isn't it? Yeah, no, no. It is for you to decide. I am not asking you now because many of you have not studied. Many of you have not prepared. If some of you are willing to take mock, you can tell me. I will fix a date and time for you because most of you are going for colleges. So for you, I have to give it only in the evening or night only. So tell me. So those people who I will post, um, I will make a post in our Federal Bank group. Those who want to avail first group, uh, first mock interview, Though the interview date is not known, you can take it up so that I will give you suggestions for your improvement. And okay. the next interview, you can take it after you are getting your interview date, two or three days before that. Yes. yes. They have said that document verification will happen on 12th, sir. Upcoming 12th 12. means you can take on 14th. Okay, sir. When will be the interview? Approx approximately it will be on in before 19th it will be five business working days five, five or six 